Hey, what is going on guys? I'm Mario and welcome back to another Cinema 4D tutorial. Well, actually this is not a tutorial, it's more of a breakdown than anything else. And what I'd like to do here is uh, talk about texturing, actually putting materials to this guy. And I did have uh, questions in the past on will I do any uh, lighting or rendering tutorials, but Trust me, I'm definitely not a right person for that. Uh, most of my renders come from pure experimenting with uh, materials, settings, lighting, and to watch that process, I think it will be just too, <laughs> too painful. But uh, what I can do here is do a breakdown of materials that I did for this guy. And again, this is something that we modeled a while back. You can find full tutorial both on my website and on my YouTube channel. So in this case, what I'd like to do is just go through the scene and the materials that I used uh, to create uh, this, this image right here. Now, this is used only uh, with Arnold, so I didn't use any substance painter things. So it's not UV, it's just pure materials. And when it comes to the scene itself, it looks like this. So I have a basic camera with focal length of 50 and that's the only set settings that I used. I applied uh, Arnold's uh, parameter because maybe I thought I'd use uh, depth of field which in the end I did not end uh, using and what I have is Arnold Sky which uh, I have uh, HDRI map plugged into texture so that's it. Intensity I have to 1.5 usually I leave it to 1 but in this case at the very end, I decided just to put it something like 1.5. Now samples, again, this is something that I add at the very end. Usually I keep it really low. And when I have more or less uh, the scene and material set up, then I would increase this. Now as for camera, this is also something that I turn off because it just shows the background of the HDRI. So if you don't need that, you can turn that down. And as for render settings itself, like I mentioned, when I'm playing with the materials, oh, new version is up. So when I'm playing with the materials, I actually put everything down. So that's that's it. Um, now, as for the scene itself, I have uh, two lights. One light is here to represent. Okay, so I need one more to represent just this area right here because I thought without the light it was a bit empty and the light added maybe a bit more contrast to the scene. And I used another point light here to, as for backlight or rim light. Usually I would use uh, quad lights but in this case I went with point light. I don't know, just gave a bit interesting result. The color itself was uh, orange tone and we increased intensity and again just a bit increased samples and yeah that's that's where there that's all that there's to that and also with uh, the sky what i like to do sometimes is just play with the rotation it can give interesting interesting results and yeah that's for the scene setting itself now as for the materials i like to create one material first and then uh, duplicates and create every other material from that if they're similar, which in this case uh, they are. Now as for, let me just turn the IPR. It might be a bit slow because every time I'm using this recording, it, it does slow everything else down. So, uh, okay, let me stop this and put this to 80. So let me talk about this main uh, red uh, or brown material first. Actually, I thought that I'd pause this. Uh, so what it has here is curvature map. Then I added image map to roughness color and uh, roughness specular. Actually, I added to both roughness specular and both roughness coat and coat color. So this actually, I like to experiment the most when I add images is with the coat color and coat roughness and then specular roughness I will see later which I'm gonna choose sometimes like in this case I plugged it in basically everywhere same single image now uh, finally I use normal map which it's uh, metal if I click on edit you can see it's looking like uh, like this so basically it's giving this 
damage uh, worn out metal look and that I plugged into normal map so if you come here and search for an image you can simply drag that here and then you can search for normal and surface normal map it's here so that's it and once you have both you just need to plug it in into inputs and then this you need to plug into when we go here into geometry normal now you can play with the settings of strength as well if you wish same with the image here i left everything with default because i did play with it but i found out that default actually works fine and gives uh, nice enough results especially when i have this light on now once i had this all done then i played with the rest of the material but let me just go first through uh, let's say curvature so curvature again if you just search it's on the surface curvature and what that does it will give you this wear and tear effect around the edges so right now it's gonna be all white because i ended up inverting the map that's why i use color correction basically everywhere where i can <laughs> and if i invert this you will actually maybe see a bit better how it's gonna affect now as for the map itself i like to play with the settings and in this case uh, these were the settings that i went with now in this case it might it not it might not uh it's not uh looking as it is at the very uh final render because you can see here it's not affecting everything it's just affecting certain areas and like I said, this is something that I got after experimenting. So even though that I would plug this in maybe at the very beginning, I would experiment with the values a bit, a bit later. So I'm going to just invert this back. Now, as for images, uh, again, fairly straightforward. If we just quickly plug this in, you will see how this image looks like. And basically, it's a black and white image looking like this you can find again online or creates your own in photoshop and just maybe thing worth mentioning all of the material have a cubic projection so if i just put that so projection is set to cubic and yeah so put that back in and as for now i can turn all that off so never mind how it, how it's looking now. It's uh, it, it's looking like that simply because I have the code set to the maximum, so it's looking a bit funky. But what I would start start first is just apply a curvature map to see uh, how it's gonna affect the current model. So I went into code and added to Fresnel, so IOR, and then you can see the effect it gives. And then later what I would use is just use an image and plug it into either coat's color to see how it uh, reacts. And then uh, I would maybe play with the color correction here, increased gamma and contrast a bit. And then later I would do coat's roughness and then I would do specular roughness as well. And this is then something that I decided as for something that it might work. And then finally, I just added geometry normal, this normal map to add a bit more bumpiness to, to the surface so that it's not looking fully flat. And yeah, that's, that's basically it. And once I had all this set up, I would come in and maybe play with the values in color correction, play the values with normal maps and to find the look and basically yeah that's all there is to that now as for the frontal material it's exactly the same as the color material so i'm gonna stop this it's exactly the same except i think i use even exactly the same uh image here the only difference is that i use a different different normal map with the scale down settings and reduce strength so it's not that prominent so but if i scale this to let's say 1.5 then you can see 
what normal map does that. So it's basically giving a bit more surface distortion. And yeah, so I also play with a different set of images, but I think that I went with the same all over. As you can notice, it's giving it that bump look to, to the surface. And yeah, uh, the, the only difference here is, is that I didn't plug in uh, this image into specular roughness, but I ended up playing with it manually. So went with this value and again, code is set to one here. And in previous material, it, the code is also set to one. So yeah, and here now we can just come back and reduce a normal map to back 2.5 and that's it now as for this the dark material again it's the same material as previous ones except i added now it's not shown so i need to stop this uh, the base color is a bit darker and with lower weight now as for the emissive material everything is turned off except the emission ex emission i set to this color, not purely white, but somehow yellowish. And you can also use mesh light for this if you wish for more accurate result. But I think for this case, the mission was enough. And the only thing uh, worth mentioning, if I didn't mention that before, if you're playing with curvature maps, uh, the values that I ended up playing with are once the, the everything was set up and I ended up playing with threshold and bias. So Every, once everything was done, I was just playing with these two values to make sure that this edge wear and tear, it's not applied everywhere, like everywhere the same because it's not necessary. And also what you can do if you wish, you can create multiple materials of this sort and apply it to different pieces and then play with threshold and bias even radius if you want to get uh, different, different results. Now, again, if you want to have more real time model, and have more precise results, what you would need to do is UV this guy and export to Substance Painter and then actually paint all this wear and tear all over. So basically, yeah, this is a simple introduction into how I did materials for this guy. Very, very simple, didn't took much time either. And also uh, I have alternative render, which is just front pull and back. The only difference here is that I added the floor and I removed all the textures, except maybe I left here uh, roughness or I think just coat main uh, coat uh, color. I left uh, this image inside and it's the same HDRI map. It's the same lighting setup. It's just that I added the floor and that's basically it. So yeah, even though that it's nothing, uh, nothing in depth, I, I still hope that you, you get something out of this and if you have any questions yeah feel free to answer uh, <laughs> feel free to ask in comment section down below and i'll be happy to answer them if i can so again thank you for watching and see you next time